So now that you've graduated, where are you at mentally today compared to five months ago? A lot happier and just like realizing, well, not like happier, but like realizing that it's over. So just trying to like take it all in, I feel like, and like not trying to like let any memories slip away. Yeah, I definitely feel more sentimental about like spending time with my family, with my friends. I feel like just like with everything coming to an end and like everything like finally happening, I feel like more sentimental and more like excited. Not as stressed as I was or scared, right. say five months ago. Right. The pressure of like being in school like with your peers is like a lot on your mental health and a lot on you personally. And now that I'm out of it and I know for sure that like I'm actually out of it, it's not just like I'm on break for two weeks or a couple months. Yeah. I'm so much happier and I feel like I can be like a much more like genuine and honest version of myself. What are you most excited about for like the next chapter in your life? I'm moving to Tucson and I don't know anyone going down there really and I'm just really excited to start meeting new people and gaining more responsibilities and just everything just moving away and like starting to like really figure out who I am like as a person by myself. Right. I'm excited that like to kind of just like really figure out who I am because I feel like I struggled with that a lot and like not just like figure out like who I am but like figure out like the things that like actually like make me happy like there are things that I'm like oh like that makes my friend happy so it's probably good so like like being on my own like and, and even like my parents like with them like just like doing things like for them like I'm excited to like figure out myself and like things that make me happy and do things like for me because I'll be alone. Well, I won't be alone, but like, I'll be on my own. I feel like I'll be more like free and open because I feel like there's not a lot that like people know about me. And so like, hopefully just like really like freeing that in a way. And like, I feel like once like high school ended, it's like, boom, like we're going to college. But just like trying to like ease into it and like, trying to like create new friendships and stuff because I feel like that's like the most important thing is like you need you need someone there to support you and I've had like my studio as like a support group for so long and I'm kind of like just like leaving that behind and I know I'll still have everyone but it's just gonna be different but I think moving away like to Flagstaff will be like super exciting and like being able to create new relationships and stuff. So. Right. What's your biggest takeaway this this senior year for you that's not related to dance? My biggest takeaway would have to be like learning you just can't care what other people think about you. Because I used to care so much when I was younger and I would take everything to heart. Then it gets to a point where you just have to realize like, you can't let anything and everything that someone says to you hurt you or bring you down because it's probably not true and you know you're better than that. So just not listening to what other people say and having fun doing what I want to do and not really caring. I'd have to say it's discipline, you know. You know, sometimes you just don't want to show up, you know, for whatever reason. Either you're just like angry or sad or whatever it could be, or, you know, you're just really tired. But, you know, really having that, you know, that mindset of I need to show up, you know, for my mentality, for, you know, for my physical well-being, you know. And there could be benefits out of it, you know? right. So I think it's just really, you know, just wanting to discipline yourself. I would say at the beginning of the year, I questioned a lot of things like, why, like, why didn't I make this team? Why didn't I get this award? Like, why aren't people talking to me? 
and over this like whole year I've really learned that like what's meant to be will be. Everything falls into place at the right time and I think it's really important to remember that when you do feel disappointed in something that something bigger something better is coming your way and I've really learned that and it's really changed my like how I thought about everything recently. Yeah. What platform did we provide for you this year? The past like three months, my life has changed so much. And um, sometimes like you just, they're like, you love people so much, but you just need breaks from them and like, just coming here is just so different because the platform, the teachers just care about you so much and they'll really just go above and beyond for you and I don't think that I would be in a good place if I didn't have these teachers because um, they really just cared for me so much. I love how I can talk to all you guys here too. Like I know I can get deep with you guys. I, it's not just like any other regular studio, but just my teacher being my teacher. You guys are like friends to me too. Yeah. I can get close and deep with you and have actual conversations about stuff if I needed to. Yeah. It's just it's cool. No. I knew I could come here and count on it to make my day better. Like regardless if it took, like the first two classes. Like I just knew that like, no matter what happened in my day, no matter like what picture or what message I saw, I could come here and either I could talk about my feelings and for me it's really hard to just like, express how I'm feeling or like open up I guess. And I knew that regardless if it was a teammate or a teacher, like I could talk to them about my day. And by the end of my last class, whether that was at 7 o'clock, 8.30, 9.30, like my day, I would go home happy, like my day would just be better. Like it just, it provided such a safe space where I got that comfort, where I could express my feelings without feeling stressed or feeling like someone was going to judge me for how I was thinking or something. So many people here like fulfilled so many things that were empty of me and made me so much happier and made me like myself so much more. It's a place I can come and I know like people genuinely care about me and they listen and the conversations I've had with like you or Chris like they mean more to me than you guys will ever know. And I'm really sad that I'm leaving because it feels like one of the best things that's ever happened to me is going away. <laughs> and it's not even about dance for me. I love dance, but this is so much more to me. <laughs> if I hadn't have come here, I don't know if I'd still be here today. I think some of like the best opportunities I've ever gotten are ones where like I had to step out of my comfort zone and like I was like oh my gosh like I can't do this but like after I do it I'm like that was the best thing I've ever done and then I grow so much from it and I feel like a whole new person with that experience. I'm so glad that you came to the studio dude. I know it was the best decision of my life oh, yeah. for sure. When you're a junior, like sophomore, freshman, you kind of know it's like, oh, I'm going to be at school the next year, at high school, doing this and this. But when you think about it, after you graduate, you're like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. And it's all kind of unexpected, but it's also kind of fun in that way because you're on to new things and new adventures. Like if you were to tell me last year that I would be going to Idaho 
to BYU Idaho to study business management, I would have told you you're crazy. I was like, no, there's no way in my life would be completely different, especially this year, if it wasn't for like you guys and everything that you've done in the platform you've given me. Like if you told me two years ago that um, all the guys would start texting me every once in a while, like ask me gym advice. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and like, and, 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 and also, in terms of like being able to actually like in person teach someone what I do and like see fulfillment, and, like see like how it's like changing the like mentality. Like shout out to Isaac or whatever. He tells me how much like he thanks me for you know bringing him in, and it makes me happy because I actually get to like show someone, like have someone to like help, you know, in that way, you know. It's just, it's just crazy to me because I never thought that two years ago that that would happen. Yeah. And just now I get to like lead and help out in any way I can or whatever. I get that fulfillment in a different way. You now, you know, it used to be for myself, but now it's like I get fulfillment for helping others. Is everybody ready? Welcome to the platform! It goes by so fast, like everyone says that, but like seriously, soak it all in, like go to classes, like even if like you're not feeling it one day, just go, like you won't regret it. If there was someone that came to me and said that they were afraid to grow and I guess step out of their comfort zone of where they are, I would say just hope in yourself that you can do it. And there's so many people that you can also talk to about it and they can help you get on that path to find your way. One word of encouragement for the underclassmen, uh, what would it be? Be confident. Smile. Be carefree. Be present. Be empathetic. Be supportive. So it's not one word, but uh, everything happens for a reason, so just Remember that.